السلام علیکم یوٹیوبرز ویلکم بیک ٹو ایس ایل کے ٹورس ان دس سیکشن ویل بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ روڈ کیمبر ان اٹس ٹائپس وٹ از روڈ کیمبر لیٹس ٹیک اے لک ٹو دس سیکشن پر اے مومنٹ یو کین کلیئرلی سلیٹ دا مینڈ پورشن آف دس ہائی وے از بین رائزڈ وتھ رسپیکٹ ٹو اٹس ایجز So by rising at this middle portion of highway with respect to its edges we can get some slopes in transverse direction. So typically in highways design we always rise the middle portion of highway with respect to its edges. This cross slope in transverse direction is known by camber. But why must we provide this camber yeah of course you already know that actually uh, camber helps us in water drainage and this is universal truth that water deforms the highway surface look at this slope what is slope this term was used in camber definition by yes but what is this of course it's the ratio between rise and run as you can say rise over run is equal to slope we also in a total slope in palm up run over rise but the universal definition is rise over run because we can say slope is also tangent of theta which is perpendicular over base or we can say rise over run because rise is always equal to perpendicular and base is taken as a run so rise over run or tangent theta is known as slope in this section we saw by rising the middle portion of this highway makes some transverse slope we can say the camber is called sloped camber just look at this one Here the camber is just like a parabola. Yes. So you can call it parabolic camber. Of course you may have seen camber in such a way. Look at this portion. This is just like a slope. This is a parabola. And again this is a slope. It means this camber is combination of these two. so you can call it a composite camber so here we learned three types of camber one sloped camber a parabolic camber and of course composite camber inshallah in next video we'll be learning about camber setting out for that just wait see you next time and wassalam